Hello everyone, my name is Sir Juicy Jerry and uh, for today I'm going to show you or teach you how to use Canva as a design platform for um, creating a poster for a webinar and this one that um, I have flashed on the screen is a sample of uh, what I had did a while ago so I'm trying to recreate it for the demonstration so I'm gonna lay out um, another poster for the same purpose for the same um, topic because um, I the department is preparing for um, this webinar okay so I will be using the um, Canva as a design platform I'm sure that a lot of you already know this so I will begin with um, a background so you may start from scratch but also you could um, use the many different templates available on Canva so for, for this one uh, I am using this um, image as my background okay so the good thing about Canva is you could move the, the object to your liking to your preference and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see I'm not sure how okay this is the preferred layout okay so I already have my background what I will do is I will be adding um, circle Modern posters nowadays, or the good thing about Canva, is pwede mo siyang save as PNG or pwede ring MP4 if you want it to be a more dynamic um, kind of poster wherein there are GIF or GIF or moving objects to make the, the poster more pleasing and catchy. Okay, so let me have the insert a shape so I'll grab a circle on the element section of of Canva okay I want um, a yellow circle so this one I could change the color okay so this is the shape that I want and also I want to insert a, a GIF to make it more interactive and I'll be placing the image of the the guest speaker that you have in here for um, for aesthetics purposes and I'll be using the the image of professor Gavilan that uh, I have removed the background okay so after removing the background I'll be removing the excess space okay so I'm placing the image on the left okay so I want to okay so this is just about right and I'll be adding some effects okay and then I'll be adding a little bit of glow or shadow kasi yan yung um, medyo uso ngayon to put a little more emphasis on, on the person or on the object. Okay, so on, from the effects, you choose shadow and you could adjust the amount of shadow that you want and also the color of the shadow. So just to um, have a little more emphasis, I'll see how much how thick the shadow is so I'm adding a little bit of glow and then uh, there's a little bit of adjustment you could increase the size of the glow you could adjust the transparency the blur and the color I'll see if white would fit uh, no. A little bit on the maybe gray tones 
Because I don't want naman na super black. If it's black, it's very dark. Uh, dark is okay. Yeah. So, I'll be adjusting the layout because there's a little bit of adjustment with the shadow. So, I want a half body image. Okay, I'm adjusting it a little over here because I'll be having um, the logo of the institution on top right and on the top left. And I'm also inserting a bar. Okay, as you notice here, there's a bar behind the person to for me to insert the the name and the title of the webinar. So this is just a quick tutorial and I am um, challenge to have the demo for under 10 minutes and I'm on my six minute mark now so I'll see if I could fit this in one recording so this is the bar and I'm sending it at the back okay there okay I We'll be inserting the, the logo of the institution, St. Anne, and the department. Okay, the logo of um, Smith or the School of uh, Management for International Hospitality and Tourism on the right and on the left is the logo of St. Anne. Make sure that it's of the same size so maybe you need to adjust a little more okay you may have to adjust as necessary and then uh, you can insert text you could use, um, there, there's a lot of fonts that you could use and there's also a template of design that you could choose. So I will be using this one. And the title of the, the webinar is Smith, The Untold Stories and Legacies as Told by Chef Cherry Gavilan, which is the Assistant Dean of, of Smith. So I already have my template here. I will key in. Hold on. Mention of button. Oh, okay. There. Okay. Lakihan ko lang yung font ng konte and actually medyo adjust ko for you to see what I'm doing. And uh, so I already have my main title here. I'll be removing this one. The subtitle is. I'll just copy paste the untold stories and legacies. Paste it over here on this section. Nagdoble. Oh, yan. Okay. So, later I'll be adding shadow. So, for the color scheme, um, that's yellow over black. So f I'll have to adjust muna the, the font size before I put shadow. Okay, I think that it's about right. So I'll copy. Okay, but I'll be deleting this one. And then this should be... Um, the font or the shadow should be yellow. And then black, black on top. And I'll be aligning this on the 
can be on the center, could also be on the left, but I prefer it on the center na lang. Okay, this is um, the part two because I, or, I, I wasn't able to meet the 10 minute mark. But anyway, uh, I am going to um, have a, I use yellow shadow on the, on Smith. Okay, and then next is the, I'll be adding the name of, of Chef. Jerry Gabilan Hieronimo T. Gabilan and you can adjust the, the font size and then you can pick uh, the appropriate font there's a lot of fonts available in um, in Canva okay so maybe this one I want it to look or appear as a signature so maybe this one is good and you could adjust the the thickness and the spacing you could set it on bold okay and you may have to add a subheading to identify the profile of the, the guest speaker so I'll just have it here assistant team of Smith okay and then you may have to adjust the font size also and uh, choose an impressive font that fits the your aesthetics Okay, so let me pick a font, Glacial Indifference. Okay, I still have to add um, the heading or the title of the, the department. Okay, I'm going to use a subheading. Okay, over here. Let me stretch. And then you may have to adjust your, your font size. I'll just instead of um, oh, I'll just have to type it here. Saint Anne College, Lucena Incorporated, and then Smith is School of Management for International Hospitality and Tourism. Okay, make sure that the spelling is correct. Okay, I have a, I had a little error. Okay, so I'm I'm good. It's a little dark, so I'm gonna have to adjust the font color. Let's see if white is not so much readable because there's white spaces on the right. Okay, I'll be using a different color. Let's see if yellow is good. Hmm, not so much. Maybe gray. Oh no. Uh black black is better okay and uh I'll, what's what's missing this one online coffee talk webinar mm -hmm. i'll be inserting another rectangular shape but i'll be um, using the color yellow to put a bar on top of this. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. And again, I'm inserting a subheading entitled uh, Online 
کافی تاک آنلاین کافی تاک ویبینار and then adjust the the font size okay and uh, see if i'll be choose choosing um glacial indifference as well okay so what other elements am i missing so i I have the the logo of the institutions, Sackley and Smith, this one. Mm, I, I, let me see if highlighting this to bold will work. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, uh, let me see if I could if adding glow effect for this one will work. Para mas ma highlight yung logo. Okay, that shadows glow. I'm adding white glow on the logo. Let's see if if that will work. Oh, there's a little glow. That's better. Okay, let me add another shadow glow on the other logo. Okay, let me have some minor adjustments before I finish this one. Okay, for this one, you may need to adjust the letter spacing. If you want it mas lapit-lapit or mas layo. Medyo naghang. I'm putting it back to the original line spacing and medyo naghang. We are having trouble loading shadows. Oh, there's some error loading the shadow. Okay, let me have some minor adjustments. Okay, if there's a problem with the shadow, no. Okay, so I think that I'm actually good with this. Um, maybe you could insert the, the date or the schedule of the webinar here, but since the the webinar is still indefinite i'm leaving it as blank and then maybe you could have the the platform by which you are um, showing this this webinar whether this is in google meet or on zoom and maybe the the password and the user id for this one and some other elements you could add, add stickers or other elements and then um once you're done I actually can can save this but since I'm having trouble with the with the shadow a while ago you could proceed with saving this as a PNG PNG is uh, of high quality image uh, for your poster and also since there's a moving in um, gift you could also save this as mp4 Okay, but I won't save it for now because I'll have to have some minor editing with the logo. But uh, I'm afraid that's all the time that we have right now. I'm, I hope that you're able to learn how to create a poster using Canva. And thank you very much and you do have a great day. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, and don't forget to click on the notification bell for more updates. So again, I'm Sir Juicy Jerry. Have a good day. Bye-bye.